Ghanaian students in China have reached out to government to evacuate them following the outbreak of coronavirus, which has claimed more than 80 lives. Students' leaders say the city of Wuhan has been completely locked down for eight days, and as a result, people have run out of food supplies. Coronavirus is believed to have originated from a seafood market in Wuhan in the, in the Hubei province of China. It has also infected more than 2,700 people. The national president of the Ghanaian students in China, Felix Jiu Ado, is quoted to have said Ghanaian ambassador to China, Edward Boatin, will be meeting the student leadership to discuss the issue. He also confirmed that so far, no Ghanaian student has been diagnosed of the epidemic. We are on News 360. And let's go all the way to China. I speak to Phyllis Nyakon. Phyllis Nyakon is the, presi the president of the Postgraduate International Student Association in uh, Zhejiang University in China. Felix, good evening. And... Uh, Thank you for your time. Yeah, good evening, um, and thank you for your time too. I think it's uh, 3, 3 a.m. here in China. Good. It's, it's just uh, a few minutes after 7 p.m. That's uh, 21 hours GMT. And, uh, right. well, uh, F Felix, if you can hear us, uh, tell us about how Ghanaian students are faring in China after the outbreak of the coronavirus. Well, uh, it's, been, it's been so scary day in, day out. Um, it's not been easy uh, because uh, it's dangerous to go out there to do anything. So uh, it's not been easy for us. Uh, we've, been, we've, been, we've, we've been feeling um, uneasy because uh, all that you've been asked is to stay at home or if you're going out, you need to put, you need to wear a mask. So it's not be easy for us. And uh, we're calling on government. Uh, we're calling on the embassy to, to come to our aid because the situation is getting out of hand. As right. we speak, uh, yeah, as go we speak on. in go my on. city, yeah, in my city just yesterday, um, in Jinjiang, which is in Jiangsu province, uh, two cases have been recorded. And I have been home for the past uh, four or five days. So it's, it's getting scary day in, day out. Right. Uh, talking about your situation there, do you also know about some Ghanaian students in the Wuhan area, which is now on lockdown? Have you reached out to them or have they reached out to you? Yes, I have, I have a few friends, a few colleagues who are there. I have reached out to them and uh, they are safe. Uh, but they are also worried of the situation because it, it, Wuhan itself right now, uh, nothing goes in there, nothing comes out. The whole place has been blocked out. No flight, no train, bus, I mean, every transportation, everything has been has been cut off. So the little food they have, the little, I mean, food they have, uh, if, they are, if they run out of stock now, that will be a disaster. That is the only fear they have now. But as we speak, they are safe. All right, we understand you'll be meeting the Ghana ambassador to China, Edward Boatin, uh, any moment from now or tomorrow in the next couple of hours. We understand other countries are also repatriating their nationals. Have you been able to meet the ambassador? When you meet him, would one of the requests be to uh, reach out to government back in Ghana to repatriate you also? Yes, I think, I think that would be the best way. Uh, because uh, even uh, today, our school, uh, Jansu University, had to extend our... Uh, vacation period to 24th of February. We're supposed to resume school on the 9th, but because of the situation, it has been extended to 24th. So when we meet the ambassador, I think that the best way uh, uh, we can we can ask them to do for us, I mean, the best thing they can do for us now is to uh, find a possible way of evacuating us back home. Uh, because the situation, like I said, is getting scary day in, day out. Because the virus is spreading at a faster rate, at, as, as, as I speak. All right, Phyllis, before I let you go, tell me, do, do you know the number of Ghanaian students in your province? How many people do you know? 
Well, in my school, I can I can specifically talk of my school. In my school, we are over 700 Ghanaians in Jiangsu University. And we have more than, if I'm not mistaken, we have more than uh, 40 or 45 in, uh, universities in the Jiangsu province. So population of Ghanaian students in Jiangsu province, if I'm not mistaken, should be above uh, 2,000 uh, 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 population. Yeah, we should be over 2,000. All right. Well, we understand you are also being quarantined. You don't go out so when you want food or groceries. Mm -hmm. How do you go about it? <laughs> that is the situation. Uh, about three days ago, I have a mall that is closer to uh, our ap uh, apartment. Mm -hmm. So when you are going out, you have to mm -hmm. get a mask. You have to wear a mask. And when I got to the mall, could you believe the, ho the whole place was full up? You cannot even find a, a, a place to pass to even buy your groceries. So the little you have, you have to manage it. But the fact is that after managing and it's out of stock, what happened next? That is the situation. For you to be safe, the only safest way is to stay indoor. But will you stay indoor without eating food? That is well, the situation we, we are facing now. Well, it, it's kind of a tight situation, but probably yes, you, can, it is. You, you can stick to your books and learn more if you cannot go out <laughs> there, Felix. <laughs> well, so we, we pray. You reading books every day without doing anything now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we hope you'll be able to reach your Edward yeah. and put your concerns to him. So... At least. Sure. Let's see what reaction the government of Ghana will take. Thank you, Felice Nyako. Sure, sure, sure.